As investigators continued their search for the gunman who kidnapped four Americans in the border city of Matamoros last week, Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador lashed out at Republican U.S. lawmakers who have proposed sending troops into Mexico, telling them that the United States show. Why don't you take care of the serious problem of social decomposition? Why don't you temper the constant increase in consumption of drugs? López Obrador asked Thursday at his daily news conference. López Obrador's unusually sharp comments came two days after Mexican authorities located the missing Americans in a shack on the outskirts of Matamoros, a notoriously lawless city long disputed by rival drug trafficking groups. Two of the Americans, Shade Woodard, 33, and Zindel Brown, 28, were found dead, according to Mexican authorities. Two others, Latavia McGee, 33, and Eric James Williams, 38, were found alive and quickly transported across the border. You and Mexican authorities say they still don't know why the tourists, who entered Mexico on Friday so that McGee could undergo a medical procedure, were fired upon by several men and later thrown in the back of a pickup truck and hauled away. On Thursday, law enforcement sources in Tamaulipas state circulated a letter that appeared to be from a local drug cartel that blamed the kidnapping on several rogue members of the group. Citing unnamed sources, the Associated Press said the cartel had turned over five of its members to authorities. That has not been confirmed by Mexican authorities or the FBI, which is helping in the investigation. Whatever the cause of the kidnapping, it has clearly provoked big reactions on both sides of the border, inflaming a long-standing debate about who is responsible for Mexico's rampant violence and the best way to curb it. Multiple Republican lawmakers pointed this week to the kidnapping as further evidence of Mexico's lawlessness, and the U need to intervene. Citing an explosion in recent years of American deaths from fentanyl, Republican members of Congress had already been pushing a bill that would allow U armed forces to fight crime in Mexico, and several states had asked that federal authorities label drug cartels as terrorist groups. In Mexico, that kind of rhetoric has been met wearily. Mexicans have long complained that their nation has the geographic misfortune of sitting next to the United States, the world's biggest consumer of illicit drugs and the site of the world's largest stockpile of firearms.